Nadav Madanis isn't what you'd call obese or even all that overweight, but his doctor said he's pre-diabetic and needs to lose weight, especially in the common male problem area. When you try to lose weight, or even when you don't lose weight, where do you keep? It's here and here. It's frustrating. Yeah. It's a common complaint. Men tend to store their weight around their middle, the so-called apple shape, while women usually keep it on their hips and thighs, what's often called a pear shape. But weight is weight, right? Not so, says Dr. Dory Arad, director of the physiology lab at Mount Sinai St. Luke's. That belly fat is a bigger health risk. It's around your pancreas, it's around your liver, it's around your heart. It makes those organs not uh, function very well. And it turns out it's genetics that determines both overall weight as well as where you put that weight. The genes that determine body size seem to act in the brain. They control hunger, satiety, reward, the willpower. Even more importantly, Dr. Ruth Lowe's, an obesity researcher at Mount Sinai's Icon School of Medicine, has found the genes that determine where you store your fat. She's one of the authors of a major study in nature genetics that examined the genomes of more than 300,000 people and identified the variants that, in general, tend to make men apples and women pears. But more importantly, knowing what each of those genes actually does could mean drugs that change our body type and our health risks. So that fat distribution goes from unhealthy to healthy, then maybe we can also reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease. And at least one such drug already exists, and others are being searched for. Despite that, uh, that you may have been born with certain genetic predispositions, that does not mean you're doomed to obesity, big hips, or big bellies. You can change your weight and body type. You just might have to work a little bit harder at it. Genetics is not necessarily destiny.